Welcome to Mishnah study Masechet Shavi'it, the last Mishnah of this Masechet, Perek Yod Mishnah Tet. Over here we're going to speak about the Rebbe Uda and Nasi in his, in his classic way. Uh, we'll see this come up more. Harambam actually models after him. Uh, you'll see at the end of the set of Halachot, end of the Mishnah, end of the, end of the uh, Masechet, a lot of times he'll give nice, nice Musab. Right, and uh, he does so over here. And over here is going to speak about people who the rabbis appreciate. People that, that, that the hamim, they're pleased with these types of people's actions. And we're going to discuss three, three, three people. Right, firstly, connecting to Amasechet, someone who returns alone after the Shemitah year. He, he, he couldn't pay back for whatever reason during Shemitah. Afterwards, he made money. He wants to go ahead and return it, even though there was no Kedos Bol. Hamim are pleased with him. Hamim appreciate what he what he what he did. Now, so if someone borrowed from a, a ger, right, from a uh, from a convert, right, and uh, his children converted with him. So he had a father and son who converted together. Now this person, you know, let's say someone borrowed from this uh, from, from the from the dad. After the dad passes away, there's no concept of Yerusha, there's no inheritance for this child, right? Because he's, he wasn't born to, to, to his dad when his dad was Jewish. So therefore, there's no concept of Yerusha. So therefore, you don't need to return it to his children. I right? would say, it doesn't mean you shouldn't. And Abba says, Kilomar, he doesn't have to return it to his children. And if he does return it back, Hamim are uh, pleased from him. If he does, he does give him that inheritance after the dad passes away, Hamim appreciate what he does. I would just point out over here, it seems like Hanambam, I was a little debating how to understand them over here. When he says, he says, he says, and his, what he did was was uh, was, was hagun in, in their eyes. Right? Hamim are pleased with this person if the children were born biktusha. Right? They were born, um, you know, biktusha, holy. Right? Does this mean that this, the person needs to have been born Jewish? Right? And is it not enough if he converted? But then he says, "Avala noladim begeyut en rohamim nohamim na mahsidahim." But if someone was born uh, as a goy, chamim do not appreciate if someone gives returns back that money. All right? So it's interesting. Um, how to understand this? And the last part of the Mishnah is kol mital tedin miknim be mishicha all mital tedin. Right. Uh, movable items are bought with Mashiach. The transaction is completed not when you pay for it, right? So if I go to, you know, buying something, I go ahead and buy a, buy, buy a book. I go ahead and purchase that book. I pay for it. When I lift it and bring it and take it into my, my possession, only then is it considered mine from the Torah. But now, let's say a, a person only paid for it. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't actually, you know, uh, take it into his possession yet. Technically, it's not his. It's like a handshake deal, right? So the Mishnah continues, right? even if you didn't pull it, but you're going to stick to your word, right? you paid for it, you, you, you said you were going to take it, Hamim appreciate, Hamim are pleased with him, uh, as uh, you know, and they learn from the Pasuk, Tzedek, right? you need to have measurements of Tzedek, and they learn from this, if you promise something, Keep your word, when you say hin, it's yes. If you said okay to something, keep to your word, right? Hachamim, appreciate this. And uh, that's how we end off Masechet Shavit. It's been a pleasure, uh, really a great Masechet. I encourage you all to travel to Eretz Yisrael, live some of these laws this year. And uh, next Masechet, Masechet Terumot.